Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanessa Moon Tarot. Long time no see. I've uh, been doing a lot of different things, guys. Getting back to myself. Um, this channel kind of ended up being like a a COVID lockdown thing. And so we're not on lockdown anymore. So I have to integrate, you know, being a YouTuber into my life. So give me some time, okay? But I'm still here. I'm always here. I always try to come out at the most important times astrologically. So when I know things are shifting for y'all, y'all really need the message. Or else you'd be tarot fiends and we don't need that. So anyway, my name is Vanessa Moon. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'm an artist. So if you see me with dirty nails, it's because, you know, I'm digging in that artistry I have, you know, to let your mind run wild with that. <laughs> um, so I'm here to give you the raw and the realness, okay? So let's, uh, let's get started with these reads. We have an eclipse coming up. This is a very, uh, this is a time of change. It's a time of abundance for the people, for humanity. We have a lot of planetary shifts that we haven't seen in, in our lifetime or the lifetimes before us, meaning like hundreds of years and it's going to be interesting given how evolved our planet has become how we you know how we flow with these changes how much we're going to change so basically i want to tell you that everything we've been predicting for you guys thus far we need a completely new reading now because we're in a new era we're in a new age and things have changed okay hey scorpio welcome to vanessa montero vanessa here if you're new hey hey what's up thank you for being here if you're returning i know it's been a while guys same way y'all be going through it is the same way i go through it okay so but i try to make sure i come back to the channel um when there's like a huge shift in the collective okay so basically y'all don't need to be fiends out here take the message and run with it right but you always see me come back so no worries all right so let's talk about this new era we're in okay all new reads we're getting here because we're getting new like not about new energy, just our lives completely changed. We're not the same. Look, higher self wanted to come out. Ooh, your higher self said you've been behind a mask too long, Scorpio. But that was the intention. The intention was to hide you. I'm, you're jumping right in, I suppose. I just get a feel for where y'all at before I pull out the tarot. All right, so this is about your heart. So some of y'all have a big heart, huge heart. Um, but it's like you couldn't display it for so long because it's like people weren't ready or no one could really handle it or you haven't met anyone or anybody that could really handle you. But this is be this is So, as I was saying, um it's like your your higher self had to hide behind a mask, but this is on purpose. This isn't a part of your destiny. You have two, three, so a choice. This was your choice. Because you choose to be higher, right? You choose to... What does that mean? Um, it means, like, you go higher. Like, you you don't give things... You, you, you allow things to sit in a place where you're not in control of them. You're just a human, right? But if you're here to create, then a higher power will always support that. So you don't have to do. You just have to be, right? So it's like you're just being, but that's a problem for other people. So you have to put yourself behind a mask. And this is a part of your destined path because now we're coming to a new era. You're going to be an ascended master. You're leading the new era. You're a leader. You're a leader of the new school. You, you, the way you are is the way people are learning how to be. So now you're about to ascend into something even higher. Oh my gosh. What else, Scorpio? What else? Loss. It's like you took some losses here. This is a huge event in order for you to let go this is what wants to come out so a lot of you if you feel like this is what you've been going through this is just reiterated by spirit if not this is what you're about to go through but some of you i'm getting a lot of you this is setting up this reading is setting up this way for a reason it's not telling you oh you're about to lose something this is about a choice this is about a choice to let go of the past you have to let go you are you ready it's about a choice to let go of the past you're it's like is it a loss really or is it or is it better to accept the ships that are coming in? So some of y'all had to face like everything in your life to so not so you could be willing to let it go. So I'm getting a lot of dark energy around you, like like oh my god, doors closing everywhere you looked, everywhere you looked, trying to do every every path you took. If it was a familiar path, door got slammed in your damn face, right? But it was because your ascended masters need you to know like none of that was for you. You was you were always supposed to create your own path. You're always, not even creative, you just follow the path of your um, creative endeavors. Ha, creative, see? 
some of you are musicians, artists, some of you are just talented and need to be on display or your voice needs to be heard. This is a utopia here. Some of you are supposed to be a part of a society that's a utopia. But you were playing it safe. It's like you weren't going away from your creature, your comfort zone. It was like, why? Like, I don't fit with, I don't fit in with anybody anywhere. I should just stay where I'm at, right? But it's like, no, you gotta go because you were never supposed to fit in. You had the world had to catch up to you, Scorpio. But now. The world is finally catching up to you. Now everybody's going to be like acting like you, Pluto and Scorpio, right? Everybody's up here acting like like a Scorpio right now, stand up for humanity and stand up for how they feel. Like now it's cool to be you, right? Now it's cool to be like a Scorpio. Honesty. You're always honest. You always tell the truth. But now, rather than like fighting for the truth, your truth is like gold. Like the Like now people are looking to you to be a leader. I love that. There's something here about blame. What else? Something about Scorpios. Doubt. Oh my God. We're not taking that. It wanted to come out. Come on. Give me one more. One more for Scorpios. All right. We'll take that. Imagination. Yes. I love it. Okay. So it says I, ex I expect. I don't. There's no one to blame here, right? It says I accept responsibility for my own well-being when it comes to the fact that I may have let go of some things that I was really loving because I had to play it safe or fit in with everyone else, right? Or I just had to do what was like the status quo under there in order to like make money and survive. Let's be real, right? We have to survive out here. But now it's time for you to have courage, Scorpio. Courage to be the weird one again to be the righteous one, to be the one that dares to dream because your imagination, whatever you dreamed about, is about to come into fruition. What do I wanna pull here? Let's pull your moonology card. Let's see. Um, it says nothing yet is set in stone. Just remember that, keep being mutable. So whatever you were thinking that was about to, you were about to do, that safe road, that was gonna move you into calmer waters, nah, it's not the, you're not doing that. <laughs> the universe is like nah 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 i'm still i'm still ascending you uh, you're one of my chosen ones dog like you're not doing anything normal or regular ever again i, I like it's almost like I, I, you were in a spiritual holding tank like it was like all this crazy crazy shit could have been happening to you scorpio like for real for real I can speak on me, like I'm a, I'm a double Scorpio, Scorpio sun and rising, and I'm a, I'm a Scorpio stellium, okay? So if anything, I'm your girl. I have gone through the craziest six months of my life ever since that last eclipse. You know, I dedicated my life spiritually to um, the universe a while ago, maybe like four or five years ago. Like I, I would consider myself having a spiritual death and a rebirth. Um, after I lost my parents and became an orphan, I decided, you know what? I'm not going to make any decisions that aren't based on my intuition. I don't care how crazy it seems. And I know I'm going to land on my feet. And it has served me well. But that being said, the universe is messy. So, like, there's some things I just can't see because I'm, I'm naturally not going to walk into danger, right? So the universe has to put you in a situation. I'll say the universe, but, like, your path will take you into a situation eventually, inevitably, right? When you choose to trust, you trust the guidance, right? Um, your higher self, your imagination. When you choose to trust that, It'll lead you to a place where that playing it safe leads to loss. I lost a lot of things, a lot of things. If I, if I were to tell you, it'd be another three hour video. The point I'm making is I'm in a better place than I've ever been because I'm no longer scared of what will happen because I lost everything. But what can happen when you lose everything is that you have everything to gain. Now, the only thing I have to gain is my destiny, my dreams. I lost all my friends. I lost a lot of the respect of a lot of my family members. I lost my apartment. I lost all my money. I lost my car. All I have is just me and my kids for the past six months. You're like, Where's, where have the readings been? Well, I had to focus on myself. But guess what I did gain? I gained like re-love of my craft. Like I'm really a spiritual artist. I'm like a I'm like a painter, I draw, I sing mostly, okay, I act. And it's like, those are the things that have kept me afloat. And actually, real talk, I, I didn't end up in a homeless shelter. I, thankfully, I do readings, I work for myself, I could pay for ride sharing. I've actually, without the family to hinder a lot of my growth with their, with doubting me all the time and creating unknown self-doubt in myself, um, I've actually put poured more into my children and now we have a better relationship than ever. And we have more fun than we ever had in the past few years. We do a lot more as a family. So it's like, that was the intention, right? The intention was to play it safe and 
really playing it safe is trusting the universe, not trusting like, you know, their creature comforts and what society tells you is safe. Because I wasn't being safe at all. I was drowning in my own despair of just not being who I really am. So that's just an example for you guys, okay? So nothing is set in stone yet. You're still being tossed around by the universe. It's important for you to be honest right now and don't blame yourself for anything because guess what? Believe in the impossible. Luck is on your side or the universe is about to show you some shit. Okay? Your commitment was being tested all this time. Like, are you really committed to this journey? Are you really committed to being like, you know, that spiritual being that you are? A lot of you are very, I'm getting very spiritual people right now. This group of Scorpios I'm reading for, you know, sometimes I got to read for my ratchets, but you guys aren't them. <laughs> you guys are the spiritual ones. You guys are the ones that don't want to follow the status quo. Okay. But there's something in your profession that is healing for the world. It's healing and you're coming up out of this stuck energy into a new beginning. Look at that. Some of you will have a child. Some of you will fall in love. Somebody could be coming at you real fast very soon. That's for the next reading because that's a little down the line here. When I say down the line, it could be next week. It could be tomorrow, but it ain't right this second. Um, so right now it's like, this is what focus. You're, you're getting assistance professionally. I'm getting like the things are lining up for you in a way so that when like everything starts to fall into place, you already have these like foundations set in stone from the universe. So your commitment to the journey right now to what you really want or who you really are, I'm getting a commitment to yourself is being tested. Like how, how good are you going to do for yourself? Like how, like I'm getting like, let's, the universe is saying the ascended masters, right? They're saying, you want to be an ascended master? You, you think you're so great? How much do you love yourself to really trust that even when you feel like nothing is working out or you're being backed into a corner, how well do you trust that I still have your back on all these sides? Like nobody's going to fuck with you, Scorpio. Okay. But at the same time, you have to believe in the impossible. You have to stay. You have to hold a vision. Okay. You're about to be real lucky. That's the universe. But if you try to do something right now to mess it up because you're not, because you're not you're not staying the course of the vision. Like you got through all this to quit now, to quit and just go do the safe, take the safe bet because you know, things are a little tight. Money's a little tight. People are pressuring you. Maybe the landlord's pressuring you. I don't know. Like, are you really going to, you know, quit now? And you got this Aries energy, new moon and Aries time to take action. I think we just had that new moon or we're about to have the new moon. Something like that. Um, Somebody say something set up with the new moon Aries that it's coming towards you, but for whatever reason, when it, it's on a delay and when I say delay, it could be right on time, but you feel maybe something has been coming for a while and it's not here yet. So that feels like a delay to you, but the universe is telling you ain't nothing delayed. It's, it's a cycle you have to go through because everything, and I, I know you know this has made sense up to now. I know you know it. Even if it's a bad thing, because there's something about someone, somebody, or situation that you needed to see. Yeah, there's a lot of sacrifice here, Scorpio, that you had to make. Some of y'all could have been mourning someone, mourning a family members, mourning the death of your old life, 23. It's like all this chaos. You have to choose to create something new, right? Well, there's a portal opening for you. There's that mask again. Are you going to play coy? Are you going to play dumb? Or are you going to trust? Maybe if you're going to trust, maybe you should create a persona for yourself that you feel matches where you're going. And, I'm, and I say that, it's like, what do you want to create something for yourself? Well, if at the, usually when you're in the fool energy, it's like you already made all these sacrifices. Like you already, it's like the cosmic egg is the fool, right? So it's like you're about to crack. You're about to crack. So it's like, well, are you going to have fun doing this or are you going to you know, make a stupid decision or not take a risk because you feeling like this, you feeling beat up, you feeling, you feeling stabbed and you feeling betrayed. You're feeling like your stability has come fallen out from beneath you. You're feeling like, you know what? I, I don't want to be stabbed. I don't want to be backstabbed. I don't want to take a risk, but, I, but it's like, no, you're going to have to. Something may seem silly to you, like having fun. Why would I have, what's fun about this? But it's like, if you start having fun, you'll attract the energy of fun. It's like, be, now's your chance to be the fool you always knew you had inside of you. Act a fool, like act the F up, right? 
That's what I'm getting. Like, stop sacrificing yourself. So I'm going to negotiate with you. We're just um, doing this today on the full moon in Libra. So it could very well be. Look, two sevens. Oh, my gosh. Scorpio, you're the only one to get two sevens. Somebody wants to be in a relationship with you. They want, whether it be financial, whether it be spiritual, whether it be romantic. Somebody wants to con partner with you, Scorpio. Jupiter in Aquarius on that card. So you have an Aquarius here. Two, two Aquarius cards. I'm sorry, Libra. Excuse me, Libra. Jupiter and Libra, Moon and Libra. So this is all about Libra energy. So this is about this Libra, this full Moon and Libra. You got the card. You're the only one. You're the only one that got the card. That match. Not even Libra. Got that matches up astrologically with the energy that we're having right now. Today. Today is the full Moon and Libra that I'm doing this. You have Jupiter here. So it's telling you you have good luck. That's what Jupiter is. A planet of good luck. Planet of high risk. And then you have luck here luck on your side new moon in Sagittarius so the new moon in Sagittarius was in December so there is something that you could have started in December or wished for with that with that new moon that is coming to fruition now I always say that to you guys because you have to understand the timing of things right I tell you that because I'm very well know there's somebody watching this that manifested something over Christmas or over New Year's that is now happening now in April. That's how long it takes. You got to wait till the new year, the astrological new year starts for things to take off. Now we have this partnership energy with the uh, seventh house here. So somebody wants to negotiate with you. I'm going to pull on that. What else? One more. Secrets. They want it to be a secret though, or you're going to keep it a secret. Ooh, two more want it to come out. Now you have enthusiasm and you have ostentation. Libra got that as well. Look, acquisition. Somebody wants to acquire you. Ooh, lust. They've been okay, so somebody want you real bad, Scorpio. Let's leave it at that. Somebody want you real bad. We'll look at them in a second. They want you real bad. I bet you they'll come out in the tarot reading that I'm about to do. So you have um, Venus and Scorpio here. Venus hates being in Scorpio. So it's kind of like I can't grow. I, I don't. I can't. I can't grow something when you're not telling me everything like venus is like i can't grow in when i'm in scorpio and pluto land because it's too dark and, and crazy over there greenness is venus is like greenness venus is like vegetation it's like it's like it needs sun it needs water it needs it needs it needs, it needs a plant right so it's like oh no i can't grow over there it's too it's too scary it's too cold it's too dark it's too unknown i don't know what to do but venus and scorpio asking well what the fuck do you really want like what do you really actually want because that's what i'm going to grow child you're in the womb right now you're in the dark because you're in the womb you are the womb. Grow what you want, okay? So somebody was willing to negotiate with you. They're willing to tell you, I will do whatever you want me to do, Scorpio. Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me what you want me to do. Remember that song by Tevin Campbell? So it's like they want to acquire you. This is also somebody wanting to acquire you for work, for a job. There's a person that's secretly lusting after you. They're very enthusiastic. They could want you to work where they work. They could be talking to their boss about you. This is going to cause you to sacrifice a lot of what you've already imagined your life is about to be like with the changes you've tried to manifest yourself, but you're getting everything you wanted because the universe was the one in charge of that, not you. You weren't supposed to figure this out. You were supposed to manifest and just exist, right? And as part of you knew that, so you did that. And so that's why this is coming to you out of nowhere with good luck, with Jupiter, good luck. So somebody's, this is the Ram, somebody's bulldozing their way into your life. Full moon in Virgo, it could have started last month. You are good enough. Somebody could have saw that you're good enough. You, you didn't know it, but you're everything somebody wanted. You're more than enough. Somebody's secretly lusting after you and it's causing them to push something in your way, push something your way that is beneficial towards you, Scorpio, that's going to change your life. And it's not, it's, your life is going to come into great balance and they're going to do it the way you want them to do it. They're going to partner with you the way you want them to partner with you. They're going to take your lead. They're going to say, how do you want to do this? I don't want you to work for me, Scorpio. I want you to, I want you to be my, my equal. I want you to tell me how you do things because I like the way you do things. I like who you are. I trust you. Wait, the timing is not quite right. It's like you were made to wait for this, Scorpio. It's like nothing. It's like all the doors closed because because you were not supposed to go through those doors. But a part of you knew that and you let things go. You just let it go. And that's hard for a Scorpio. But it's like some things you wanted, they just weren't available to you, right? Right? They weren't. But it's because fate, fate had a destiny planned for you that's completely different. And there's a partnership there that always was meant to be just for you. And they want you to act a fool. You're like, I can't act like that. This is weird. I don't want to do that. And you're like, no, be vulnerable, Scorpio. 
It's a lot of passion here. Somebody's really into you. That Aries energy, they got a fire burning for you. Oh my goodness, I can feel it. Give me another oracle card. Tell me about what's coming in for Scorpio. The winds of change. It says your surroundings will undergo changes or transition. And it says a long journey brings rewards. Tell me what else. Wow, look, another card of secrets. Somebody is... <laughs> The wyvern. If somebody is secretly in, they say your secrets are safe with me. Like they might want to tell you everything, but you can't tell them, tell anybody else. Okay. It's just between you and them. It's just between y'all two. Tell me more. This is person Scorpio is about to be involved with or this situation. It's very passionate. So you have two things here. Somebody's very passionate. Look, another secret, the high priestess. You can't tell anybody. It's like you're, maybe you'll be working with someone. Some of y'all could be working in something really high profile like the government or Hollywood or whatever, right? A project, Queen of Cups, that's you. They want you. They want you and only you. They want your intuition. It's meant to be for you to be a star. That's always the dream girl and you're the star. You're somebody's dream. Somebody manifested you and they can't believe you're standing in front of them. But it's a secret. Can't tell anybody. Why? Because Three Cups, you're coming together. It's a reunion. You're, they're putting you on a pedestal. It's a celebration. It's a contract. Ace of Swords. It's a contract. Some of you will be signing a contract. Ace of Cups. But it's with a new love. But you can't. You'll be working with your new love. Eight of Wands. I'm sorry. Eight of Coins. You'll be working every day side by side. Okay? But you can't tell anybody that you love them or they love you. Maybe they don't tell you they love you. Maybe they don't tell you they got you the job. Alright, so somebody looks at you like a star or you are the star. This is also like, have, it says have faith. The future is bright. Dreams are coming true. Positive changes that bring an end to your challenging times and the light at the end of the tunnel. So a lot of you, April, this, don't, don't mind the dog, guys. For a lot of you, April is bringing your, like, your dreams into alignment. Like your destiny is here in front of you. You'll be, some of you, Ace of Swords, you have that, there's that new beginning, that um, truthful new beginning, but it also represents like victory, like signing a contract. Like I said, because this is, I'm doing this today on the full moon in Libra, which is about partnerships and contracts. A lot of you will be signing to stardom or signing like a dream, like a dream, a dream contract. Okay. But then you also have it here with star cross love with the ace of cups. I mean, straight up star cross love. And I'm getting, that's the secretive energy because like somebody secretly, like you're their high priestess, like secretly they love you or they're keeping you in their shadow. Like they love you. They're keeping the fact that they love you unconditionally. And I'm getting that that's the person who kind of put you on a pedestal here. It's like other people, they want you to be recognized for your talents. Like it's not what I'm getting here too with this unconditional love energy is somebody wants to see you being in your power. They want to support you so that you get to shine. Like they want you, they want to see you get your flowers in real time. Like somebody is supporting you from behind the scenes and you don't even know it. And they don't even care if they get back from you what they hope. They don't even care if like you fall in love with them too. They just care that you get like what's owed to you. And that's why, that's, that's why this reunion is so necessary with this, um, or this, I'm calling this a celebration because it says news worth celebrating, a joyful announcement or engagement, wedding, pregnancy, graduation, a time for gratitude, close communities or chosen family. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting soul tribe with this more than like, this card has many meanings. A lot of people will be like, oh, it's reconciliation. Not every time because I didn't really see any of that in this reading. I'm seeing here, this is like good news like this is like soul tribe like finally getting to be around the people that love and appreciate you it was like you got to i'm getting you i'm telling you because i've been going through this myself i don't like to bring myself into the readings but it's like you got to get you got six months last like, y'all had to have this because i have too much scorpios i know what the hell y'all went through y'all got six the past six months y'all got shown every single devil and demon in your life that didn't really gun for you it didn't really want you want you to succeed blaring in your face it's almost like you got to see everyone's dark side and really really contemplate if that's a person that should be in your life and a lot of you it's nobody maybe you just have one friend left and you didn't even know that like you didn't even know these people were your enemy like you probably didn't even focus on these people or even think they would ever or or they weren't even important enough to to affect your energy but you didn't know they were they were it's not even that they were hindering you going forward it's that they were not entitled to your energy and spirit needed you to show you exactly who you are you're an earth angel and it's like everybody's secrets got revealed to you. And now you're like, you know what? It's an, I, I don't want people that's in my face just giving me attention because it, it makes them feel good. Or I don't want people around, you know, reaping the rewards and benefits that I'm about to receive from blessings from the universe. This is monetary blessing here. 
okay? And, and your everyday life, something that revolves and revolves and revolves and revolves and always constantly puts you on a pedestal and always comes back. This is like an investment, like you are the investment. You are the money maker. All, all, you're getting people that invest in you. They make something off of you. But this time, instead of making like getting clout or stealing your ideas or your identity or whatever the fuck, or just your vibe or putting your or, or getting high off or putting you down, you're getting people around you where they're seeing like you're a money maker. Like I can make money off of you, but I can make. But it also makes me be able to do something good in my life and 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 do something better for my community. The way things should be. So you're getting a contract here, you're gonna sign something, you're getting the truth, you're getting a clean slate, a fresh start. It's because you're open. The fact that it's like you're finally realizing, like, let me be open to like what 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 the universe has for me rather than what I think I deserve here. Because I don't see it. And if I don't see it, that means the universe needs to show it to me. And I trust. And I know, I know who I am. So I know I have this wisdom for a reason. I know I have this talent for a reason. And if somebody truly loves me, it's okay. I, I, like they don't have to show me because I love myself so much. I'll just know because I'll know that they see me for who I am, and they'll put me on the pedestal I deserve. So somebody finna take action to you right now, and it's always fated for you to have this. Look at this. Try something you've never done before, right? They never did that before, Scorpio. You're always the one in control. You have to relinquish control, so you could really see. Because a lot of times it's not about like. Oh, I'm holding on to negative energy. I, I, Scorpios, we're not like that. We chill by ourselves. Like we don't need people, right? But it's not a. It's about. It's about the shit that's there, that you, that you have no control over. That's affecting you. Realizing you do have control. You, maybe you just learn to be numb, and it's like nah. I, um. Or maybe you just learn to remain unbothered and be to oneself. But that's not how you're supposed to live life. Like everybody around you isn't supposed to be someone that makes you feel weird or different. And you're not supposed to have to conform to that. Make, make them conform to you, right? So it's like, you, you're you realizing if you can't make people conform, it's like, oh, maybe I'm not even in the right space. Like, wait a second, I'm not supposed to be here. Okay, where am I supposed to be? Like, it's like, okay, wake up call. Like, I don't even care about this. This has nothing to do with me. Like, so it's like spirit could show you everyone's dark side. So you could like, you could pick, it, pick, pick, pick and choose and pinpoint exactly who, what, need to be look released and it's not even like who it's it's more of an energy of oh look you're getting some of y'all could be getting married soon um it's it's already energy of like oh i don't you just don't even have you shouldn't even have access to someone like me you you don't even deserve someone like me because why because it's it's just no point it's no i don't know how to explain it it's like a waste time. It's like you. It's like you don't realize you're wasting your time. And when you, even though, even if you feel like you're not wasting your time because you're not giving someone energy, that's still energy. Because every every single bit of you should be used for productivity. Should be used for soul growth and healing. Not in a, not learning how to avoid or maneuvering tactics and shit like that. Like fuck that. Okay. So all right, here we go. So what's the tarot want to tell us? Let me get four tarot messages for Scorpio. Okay. So we got nine of pentacles. So first off, in April, my, usually, my readings are usually 30 days. This is where I do the part where I tell you what's going to happen, okay? So um, within the next 30 days, you're going to have extreme financial gain. That's a make it rain card, okay? Don't believe what anybody says to you. If you see this, first and foremost, they should talk to you about financial gain. There is some money or stability or independence coming in from you. You're not going to be coming for you. You're not going to have to ask anyone for anything, okay? Um, and if you have that already, then you're getting more. Because I have a, a partnership here you're coming into. I want to say, like, some of you could be buying a new home. You could be moving to a place that's warm, a place that's sunny, a place where there's lots of vegetation, palm trees, all that. Some of you could be buying um, some new, some new, renovating your home or, you know, there's the energy of, oh, hold on, that's my alarm. As if I know where my phone is. All right, got it. Um, so it's like the energy, you're, uh, the energy of, um, you can just buy whatever you can look, however you want to look and do whatever you want because you can afford it. Okay. All right. So what else have we got here for Scorpio this month? Five of wands There's some, there's some people fighting over you, Scorpio. There's some conflict here, but it looks like friendly competition. Yeah. The moon it's like intuitively. Oh my God. The full moon is today. So this is com some of y'all. This is happening instantly. I'm about to do another reading for y'all. Um, in a few days. What else? Let's see. So there could be some money coming in after some huge conflict here. 
some huge conflict because there could be something that's revealed to you with the moon a secret is revealed about there's some conflict over money and it's getting released to you nine of swords somebody can't take it anymore they got to tell you they got to tell you five of swords somebody could have cut you out of some type of financial abundance they could have they could have um this could be something you're fighting over a home or inheritance whatever yeah ten of pentacles inheritance how you like that nine of nine of well wisdom so it's a hermit number nine so it's saying like reverse this is saying something somebody who ghosted or something comes out straight up because someone was depressed about it could be a virgo or pisces involved here it doesn't have to be at all but it was always fated for this to happen for this person to be so passionately like conflicted that they would release this information to you look the sun card yeah what i'm saying is true here happiness wow so this is big money. Some of y'all are getting a new home too, or family money, a family home, inheriting a family home. Somebody's stressed here, Nine of Swords. I wanna know what that, what's this person stressed about with the Nine of Swords? Health, somebody's health is suffering. They took from you and their health is suffering. Somebody who betrayed you, Nine of Swords, straight up, I'm getting a betrayal. Their health is suffering. Look, and this got the sun card here. They're trying to get organized now. Okay, look, right? Somebody's trying to get organized in their life because they betrayed you and their health is suffering. And they need to figure out what they're... They know, the, they know spirit is coming for them. I'm done with that. All right. Y'all take... Y'all... Sun and Scorpio, that's you. It's like you were... Your health could have suffered because of this. And now they're getting... They're getting their karma. Because look, you, this is your 10th house. Your 10th house is setting up right now to be financially um, con communicated to you. Like, somebody's going to start communicating to you about your career goals stressing someone else out they know they know you're about to come into your career goals and they know maybe you're gonna have the finances or something there this is the eclipse energy you're the only one scorpio scorpio i'm telling you right now like we have the eclipses coming up um in taurus so scorpio full moon lunar eclipse solar eclipse right coming up it's eclipse season which will bring into fruition something that started six months ago there's a journey wrapping up because it's supposed to eclipse something from your life. Something you can't control, something that was out of your control, maybe someone did to you. Um, it's getting rectified. Nobody. Okay, so with that energy, you have to realize there's a lot of wisdom you got in this solitude and this being cast out and being in conflict with your family, it looks like. And it's looking like it's going to come to light right now. Whatever someone did, it's because they're in bad health. Somebody was in bad health, could have been someone in bad health in your family, and they could have, so was in charge of organ, whoever was in charge of organizing the funds, they could have kept some things hidden from you. So there's some money, I'm getting just something's coming to you, it's owed to you, the universe is giving it back to you more than what you got, more than what we were actually going to get, to be honest with you, because you have nine and ten here, pentacles, okay? Um, somebody's single here and they can feel like there's a lot of competition around them, they don't know though that somebody, one of these people is going to come out of the dark and that's the one you really want. They like you the most. They've been organizing something for you as well. They want to propose to you. Okay. They want to come towards you with some type of gift. Something undeniable. Alright, let's see. What's the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio? What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Empress. Yeah, what I tell you? This could be a mother figure. It could be an older woman who had something to do with this. But this is somebody blessing you. Somebody sees you. At they, it's, like you're, it's like you're coming out of the dark. It's like a spotlight is being shown on you right now. There's several things happening in your life. But this is the prominent thing for April. There's a spotlight being shown upon you. You're this huge brand new creative endeavor or new beginning you have. Something you've been holding out for for a long time. The Five of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the portal you're stepping through. And this is like you were going to give up, but you didn't give up. And now it's like you became an earth angel, a god that's all on your own, in your own right. And now it's like you're finally stepping into your light, stepping into the spotlight, but you're already actualized. Yeah, you're getting everything you wanted. It's your wish is coming true. All nines, it's completion. Nines mean there's no more work left for you to do, just exist and allow spirit to bless you. You already have nine coins. So first you get the money, then you get the offer that makes that you love. Maybe you start dating someone. Then you get the, um, like that's the nine of wands, right? Then you start getting everything you want. Wow, this is all in April. I think everything's happening at once for you, Scorpio. That's why you had to go through shit all at once. I'm hearing that's why you had a tough year, tough 2022, because you had to go through everything at once. Because you're you're harder to like you're you're a harder person. Like spirit save you for last because you're all you're gonna be up first. It's almost like you're the last one. You're the one that's always counted out. But then in a new era, you're the first. You're the leader, right? And it's because spirit had to like save your lessons for the last because you have a lot of control. You don't get into a lot of shit. But then it's also like. 
you your lessons have to be learned by by having like serious tower moments where you're just thrust into horrible situations simply because like you would never go there you would never be around these people or you would never acknowledge certain things but like even leaders even powerful people have to be placed like in a lower position so they can really see their enemy okay so it's like you're getting the recognition you deserve this is very popularity right here whole lot of popularity what's the moon energy what's the secret coming out the star oh my god there could be somebody in love with you that wants to commit to you that's a star that's a celebrity i'm just gonna say that right there a spiritual leader to a spiritual guru maybe you're you're becoming a spiritual guru maybe you could this is also the energy of graduation achievements okay some of you pregnancy but you're birthing a career here or, or some type of self-love journey leads to you being like a leader what's the wisdom card yeah good news somebody's coming out the woodwork to tell you good news they have a vision for you What's this good news? They want to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. What's the Ten Pentacles? Looks like a huge contract. Leads to a lot of money. Talk about millions. Um, page of Cups here. Somebody really likes you. This could be for your talent, your artistic vision, your talents. They want to apprentice with you. They want to work with you. Or they want you to teach them something. Clarify the, the Sun card here. Clarify the Sun for Scorpios. This is all happening this month. This is a woman with two children. They don't see this coming. Some of you are a single mom. You don't see this coming. Two of swords, you're going to sign something there. You have to make a decision. It's going to happen so fast. You could air travel. You could be traveling. Somebody could, yeah, look at this, the fool. You could be traveling to somewhere you've never been. The fool. You could be really scared to do this, but it's like you have to because you're the dreamer with the Knight of Cups. You have to go towards your dream. This is somebody in love with you, has to do with this, has something to do with this. They want to win you at all costs. They're not telling you, right? See, that's the secret right there, sneaking around. Acting like maybe they're just a friend flirting with you casually or causing some type of uproar in your life so that you get this opportunity because they can't let you go. Okay, there's some competition around you, but there's a, but you're quiet about that. It's like somebody comes out of the, the woodwork now that you have money. Look at that. They want your money. That's another person. Somebody you walked away from. You're going to release that. That's why that work here to release. It's going to stress you out because you're, this, might, this person might be sick now. Okay. Now that you have things are going right, maybe they didn't give you what they owed you or they didn't give you what you, they didn't help you to go move forward with like your abundance or they, they blocked you in some way and you're moving away from that person. You're taking everything you have and you're just going. Some of you are moving. Organization. What's, what else do we need to know here? The moon. That's secret from us as well. So something comes into fruition with your career here. Yeah. Signing papers. Somebody secretly felt like they had to, to cut out what they no longer deserved in order to make a plan to do something else or they felt they had to get you out of the way in order to get what they wanted yeah that's the devil see i knew that and now they're like still stuck on you somebody who's very cocky good looking felt like they didn't need they didn't like they put you on the back burner like they were always going to come back to you or or they went they secretly never really let you go though but you had to cut them out because it was like they were playing too many games. This is hard for you. It was a tower moment. But guess what? That person wants to come back. Somebody a long, from a long time ago, maybe they left you for this earth sign. Could be, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. Or they were in a long-term simple relationship and now they finally broke up from that thing and they've been stalking you. Okay. Hold on. My damn phone. All right. So tell me about the month of April. You're going to get the rest and recovery. You can have a truce energy here. Why? Because you're going in the direction of your dreams. You've already made your decision. Something's set in stone and you already got it. So it's like, this is a, this is a month of closure because you, things come in for you. You make all these judgments, Scorpio, the, and you're open to the, you're open to what the divine wants for you, that you, you made your de heavy decisions about like where you're going, what you're doing. You, you're signing the paperwork, you're getting all your ducks in a row. It's time to go. And just as that happens, all the old people want to come back and like apologize and shit. And you're like, you know what? It's too late. And then there's your true love right there, too, who's facilitating this. So that's what I'm getting. Like, there's somebody behind the scenes helping to facilitate your growth. They love you. They might be in a relationship right now, but it's like something that they're not, they're not really passionate. About. They're, they're not really mirroring this person. Like, they realize this person is not their person. But in the meantime, they're doing something nice for you, making judgment calls for you so that you can be closer it's like, that's why it's a secret. I'm just giving you the real. You probably, you might, may or may not end up with this person because you have marriage here, but this is your karma. It is your karma. So like, just go with it because this is a huge investment that someone wants to make again. If somebody's going to pay you a lot of money to sign a contract or be doing something, working with, look at that, working together with them. Oh my God. Yeah. This will lead to marriage after a while, long term. 
Yo, Scorpio, keep being that intuitive superstar you are. Keep your head down and like know the way the universe works. Like if you're supposed to be with somebody, just be a, a person of integrity and play coy as they play dumb as fuck until you get what you want, okay? Or do, get what you deserve. Because it's like nobody wants, like, you know, somebody to have, like, you know, bad luck or whatever. But if something ain't meant to be and it's really meant to be yours and you think it's, that's really what it is, allow fate to do what fate do best, okay? But I'm getting, like, all this, all these things, um, it's leading to your abundance. It's leading to you getting, like, out of, getting into a whole new life, like a whole new situation where you have respect, Okay? So, the devil is here. Look at that. Mm-hmm. But you also have the Ace of Pentacles. So, it's like, that's a career advancement right there. And you have the Two of Cups. That leads to love and the Queen of Swords. So, you're going to have to make a harsh decision. You're going to make a fair and balanced and just decision with this Libra um, full moon. Again, signing contracts. Look at that. Somebody signing. I could. You can't make this shit up. You're going to be signing something, okay? Or you're going to be starting something with someone. Maybe another female, another male if you're a male. Like, you're going to be partnering someone. You're going to be so gracious and so happy to do it. And then you're going to see that there's somebody's like, freaking obsessed with you. You are someone's, like, temptation. It, it was, And, like, at this new end, this new job, like, you're going to be so good at it. You're going to be, like, the head honcho. Like, you don't even know how bad they needed you. And then somebody, you're, somebody's going to want to toast with you and they're going to fall in love with you. And that's just what I see. That's all happening this month. Like, it starts. It starts. Like, like the Lion King. It starts. All right, guys. Love you for being here. Wait, did I pull y'all um, a Madame Madora? I think I did. Let's do another one. Yeah, it says be meticulous and patient. But this is all about your network, the spider. Your network is... Your network is about to be crazy. Somebody wants you a part of their web. Okay, they plotting on you right now. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.